It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Why am I showing you a pink football? No, um, why am I showing you a Whitbread box that's ancient, absolutely ancient? And then another Whitbread box that's full of woodworm, look. It's all rotting away. It's because I wanted to show you this. Now, I was going to get this beer out, and I realised I didn't want to get all my wood and my saw and everything was going to fall all over the place, and... That is a original 19... It's from the... Oh, there it is. 2004. Limited edition. Uh, it's Innocent Gun. Uh, f and I think it's their first anniversary. Yeah, that's their first anniversary beer. I'm not going to get it out. I can't be bothered, to be honest with you. Next to the Swindon Town Arkells Brewery Beer. Um, I picked up a load of old beers from an antique shop let's get this back on the stand and let's carry on with the review for a moment right here we go so the reason why i started that review in that manner is uh, one day would you like me to review that first ever that's the first ever innocent gun beer in a box one year anniversary super rare 2004, 2023. It's 19 years old. It's a 19 year old bottle of Innocent Gun. The reason why I brought all that up is because I went down to Waitrose recently. I picked up the old Master Hen, the Green King Moorland boxed beer for five pound. And whilst I was there, they had this. This was five pound too. Isle Whiskey Cask Beer Lafrag, limited edition Scottish Red Beer. Again, from Innocent Gun, 7.4% ABV, currently available in Waitrose. But I wanted to show you the fact that kind of Innocent Gun, they, they really haven't changed, have they? In all of the years that they've been, been producing these special box beers, nothing's really changed. That's a 330ml bottle. I bet the dimensions of that box down there, I was just showing you, are the same dimensions as this box here. All very exciting then. Uh, so La Flag or La Flag whiskey, it's that kind of like very smoky. Very, very, very kind of smoky like. Heated smoke whiskey that they put so they put this beer in that barrel there we go 7.4 percent abv 330 milliliter bottle black bottle cap available in waitrose let's get it out into a glass and see what we get little bit of smoke on the bottle opening beer in the glass Here we go then. Now some say, some say the beer is the tenant's recipe. It's like a tenant's lager that when it goes into a barrel, when it goes into this kind of like Lafrag whiskey cask, of course it, it gains ABV because it's, it's sloshing around in a whiskey barrel for however many months that, it, that it's sloshing around in a whiskey barrel. Unless it's oak chips, it might be oak chips that have smoky oak chips. But yeah, the the old um, the, the the old almost like a conspiracy really was it was just a tenant beer that was thrown into into a whiskey barrel, and then th this is kind of like the end result. I personally don't believe that. I think there's more to it than that. I think. Innocent Gun. I, I don't think they produce their own beer. I think it's just a kind of like a barrel agent process they got going on. I believe they ship the beer in through tanks. It's contract brewed beer. But I, 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 I find it quite hard to believe that it's tenants on a personal level. Uh, right, we got a one 
course, being a Scottish company, I should mention. Uh, we got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. This is a very, very dark looking ale. Well, this one certainly can't be tenants because it's a, it's a red ale. This is a Scottish red ale. So there's no way that it's tenants. Is it bottle conditioned? It looks like there's tiny little speckles of yeast in the bottom of the glass. It's very refined, it's very lovely looking, very dark, mahogany, deep, dark, almost stout looking like beer aroma. I mean, this is, this is a real required taste. This is kind of like, this is, it reminds me almost of the, like the Schirlen Köhler Orange beers from Germany. The, they produce like a, 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 kind of like a smoky, malty, bacony like beer. That's full on. That's like, that's like Innocent Gun taking a full swing playing baseball and, and like knocking the ball completely out of the park. That is like, phew, really smoky, really kind of peaty and smoky and earthy and let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, I've drank over 9,000 beers on this channel and there's still certain beers that absolutely take me to the brink. They take me to the brink, they challenge me to, to my beer drinking extremes. This is full on. This is, if you're a Carling or a Foster's drinker and, and, and you somehow made your way to Waitrose, sorry about that, but if you've made your way to Waitrose and you've somehow picked up a bottle of this, um, this is no ordinary beer. This is at the very extreme end of, of, of craft beer drinking this will test this will test the very best of us the very best kind of craft beer drinkers who drink millions of beer on untapped this will still test you this is full on Starts off being a beer though. It does start off being a multi biscuity bready beer. And then it very quickly, very quickly kind of like spirals into this into this kind of it's like falling into a peat bog, an Irish peat bog, and not being able to escape. You know, you get it, it, it peat up to your nostrils, there's peat in your mouth. Everything smells of peat, everything tastes of peat, but smoked, smoked peat. And then you get a touch of that kind of oakiness and whiskiness and it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I'm not going to kind of mess about here. I'm not going to... Beat about the bush. That is a real challenge. Um, when original brewing meets uncompromised distilling, you get a beer as distinctive as this. For our third collaboration with our friends on, on Isle Lafrag, we brewed a red beer and matured it in a cask, in, in, in cask emptied of their famed tenure single malt before finishing it in poor casks. Blooming heck. Blooming heck. I mean, 
So there used to be this conspiracy that the innocent gun just used to use kind of wood chips. Like they would they would make a beer, they would add kind of like whiskey wood chips to the fermenter. That used to be the conspiracy. But that has been kind of like no node on the back of this box here. They're saying it's actually gone into 10 year old single malt Lafrag whiskey casks, which I mean, fair play to them for banishing that kind of conspiracy of just using oak chips. Uh, layers of flavour, intensity and the uncompromising spirit of Isle come together in this truly original beer. And in the spirit of collaboration, we've partnered with another Scottish original, artist Scott Naismith. Inspired by the stirring Isle landscape, the rugged, beautiful atmosphere and coastlines, he has crafted a suitably different and inspiring design for this limited edition beer. This uncompromising brew is for the true originals out there. Okay, so this seems to be a nod to the to, to, to maybe the first people who I, I mean I, I've not read the box before the review, but I've just shown you a box there that I have. Um Yeah, they, 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 this beer I've I've spoken to many people about Innocent Gun and, and, and the, the talk is that the beer happened by accident. They were actually trying to produce a whiskey that was infused with beer. But actually what happened was the other way around. The the, the beer that they were throwing away. Apparently a brewer put his glass into the literally the gutter and had a not in the gutter, but you know, the barrel emptying out and he literally kind of like scooped up a bit of beer and he went whoa 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 halt stop stop and apparently they stopped what they were throwing away and they got all the people around in that kind of distillery to try it and they were like this is incredible this is incredible we can't throw this away and and that's how innocent gum were born they were born out of almost like an accident but sometimes in life, the best accidents happen for a reason, don't they? Um, I, I'm not going to mess about. I'm not going to kind of like beat about the bush here. Um, would I buy this normally? Well, I, I don't really like whiskey and I don't really like peated whiskey either. Um, it's a very required taste. But if you're a fan of peated whiskey if you're a fan of watching people try peated whiskey and go oh my goodness me um then then buy this beer then buy this beer i'm pretty sure you will like it it's it's to the extreme levels of what i can take as a beer reviewer if you like it's blooming full on but the more I'm, I'm drinking it, the more I'm getting used to that smoky, peaty flavour. And the more I'm actually enjoying it. I'm picking up some raisin, some plum, some prune, some fig. It's biscuity, it's bready. That peatiness is, is becoming less pronounced the more I drink the beer. And I'm glad I've waited. I'm glad I've kind of given the beer time to, or given my palate time to adjust to the beer. Not the beer adjusting to my palate, my palate adjusting to the beer. And what I found is I'm starting to drink this with a smile. It's almost like drinking one of those 100 IBU IPAs, you know, slowly but surely your palate gets adjusted to that bitterness. Well, I'll be honest with you, slowly but surely, my palate has adjusted to that kind of peated smoke and I'm, I'm now enjoying the beer. I called it a challenge. I was ready to pack it in. I was ready to say, no, no, this is not for me. But the more I'm drinking this, the more I'm enjoying it. Great mouthfeel, great taste. 
Yeah, well done, innocent gun. I went to Waitrose looking for a more than old master hen. I came away with old master hen and a bottle of this innocent gun and I'm really blooming glad I bought it. It's fantastic. But it took a long time. I don't know how long I've been talking for. It's taken a long time for me to adjust and to like the beer. But it's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.